All right, welcome to the Eddie Echo Show. I'm here with an old friend today, Mr. Dan Cousart. Hello, hello. What's going on? Dude, not much. So yeah. we, we actually grew up in Philadelphia together. And how long have you been in Nashville now? Uh, I've been sleeping on your floor for two and a half months. He's been sleeping on my floor for two <laughs> and a half months. I'm proud of that. Hell yeah. Always uh, down to help another artist, and especially a, a fellow Philly boy. Hell and yeah. Yeah, I'm Absolutely. super proud of what you've been doing, and I'm excited to dive into it and hear some new music and share what you're doing with everybody else. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. All right. Should we uh, get started here? Yeah, let's jump right in. All right, cool. Love it. The song's called Are You Getting Close to Me? I'm not exactly sure how it used to be. I can only tell you just how I feel tonight. I'll right my wrongs and I'll just shut up I don't mean to interrupt, babe I'm not exactly sure of it ought to be My hands are keep shaking to think I've lost my speech tonight I'll hold my own and I'll just show up And know to Jesus I'll adjust, baby Come and tell me love Darling, can't you see? Are we falling deep in love? Are you getting close to me? Can I matter on it? It's just a soup unclear. I want my hold in your hand. We got here tonight. Let's just have fun. I'll hold you close. Tell me love Darling, can't you see Are we falling deep in love? Are you getting close to me? Well, come on, tell me love Darling, can't you see Are we falling deep in love? So just how I feel All I know is that tonight's been so surreal Come and tell me love Darling, can't you see Are we falling deep in love? Are you getting close to me? Come and tell me love Darling, can't you see? Are we falling deep in love? Are you getting close to me? Come on, tell me love. Darling, can't you see? Are we falling deep in love? Sounded great, man. Nice, nice. So you, you just put that one out recently, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. For, for a buddy's film soundtrack. Really? What's the film yeah. about? Yeah, it's a short film. It's called Cold Call. And um, yeah, it's like a 15-minute rom-com, but, you know, based in the future, I'm assuming. or present. Okay. I'm, I'm, Ooh, I'm a, little, a dark future little, or a bright future? You know, that's a, I honestly haven't seen the full thing. It's but not like, dystopian, but, but he's, is he's it? Showed me the, uh, I'm, not, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure, but uh, he uh, he's showed me the uh, some of the clips from it. And it just looks so. Amazing. Did you write yeah. that like on part of the subject of the film, or was it kind yeah, of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was like, um, he's like, we need a, you know, kind of like a romantic, kind of thing, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little. I, I typically don't really like write 
love songs as much as mm. other people would. So it was a it was a good challenge. I think it's always a good exercise yeah. too to kind of have a visual to put the music to. Oh my god! Because yeah, a lot of times as songwriters, yeah. we're seeing it in our head. Yeah. And we're seeing the movie, yeah. but then like you know a lot of the best songs I mean, we can all think of, whether yeah. it's Mrs. Robinson or like The Shins, yeah. what was it, That's New true. Slang, kind New of. Slang. Yeah. You know, they write it to the film. I, th- I think it's a cool exercise and. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So, um, what's been some of the biggest uh, shockers in Nashville so far? What have you loved, and what has been, you know, maybe maybe not the best? I don't sure. Know. Yeah, dude. People are nice here, man. Uh, can I have conversations with people in the grocery store line? <laughs> you know, that's like not the case. I was, you know, from Philly and living in New York too. Yeah. Um, so I know a lot about yeah. your history because you know we grew up together. You yeah. actually played in a band with my brother Andrew, The Element. Yep. Oh yeah, back in the day, yeah, I, I think I've been watching you play since you were like twelve years old. Yeah, dude, probably, like a, which is not, pretty not unreal. For a very long time. And yeah. then I watched you play yeah. in like Philly basements, and then all the way up to like yeah. a new, when I lived in New York, he used to come up and play at Greenpoint Gallery. Yeah, dude, real, yeah. real uh, grungy, seedy yeah. side of New York. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, I used to get shocked by that mic every time I would sing. <laughs> Like, we had to put, like, five socks on the microphone. Oh, so you I missed would, the like, lawsuit, yeah. man. We could have been rich. <laughs> yeah, dude, that, there would not have been a lawsuit at that place. <laughs> that, we could have been rich. So um, so you grew up outside of Philly, right, where we, where yeah. I grew up. And then yeah. you lived in Philly for a long time. You had a band called RFA. Yep. And yep. you guys were very much entangled in the, the local Philly scene. And you did, yep. out of everybody I knew in Philly, you did a great job of just kind of making it your own. And you guys were a very Philly Thank band. Yeah, for man, how long? How long did you live there? Uh, in downtown. And I lived in Philly proper for six years. And I went to high school for two years in North Philly. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we had been a band for eight years by the time we broke up. It was, you know, we were, like, tweens as well. Like, I was in a band simultaneously with your brother and then those guys, you know. Like, and those so were, like, your college buddies, right? Yeah, high school and college. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it's uh, awesome. Yeah. So uh, what's the uh, what are, <laughs> what have been some big influences for you growing up? I know you're gonna play a cover song, and yeah. if you want to talk about it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So uh, this is a Velvet Underground song. Um, I grew up. You know, I mean, we we grew up on pretty similar music. Mm-hmm. You know, um, Beatles, Rolling Stones, like a lot of the classics. And uh, my dad is a huge Lou Reed fan, so. I would uh, hear some of the songs from Loaded a lot when I was just, you know, in the kitchen when I was young and stuff like that. So, uh, but this is off the uh, the first record, and uh, I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to do my uh, as much of my own thing with this song as I could. And I requested that Dan play play a cover song because I, I think it'd be cool to kind of show a different side of you. And yeah, 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 dude, so totally. Jump into it. Yeah, yeah I never really got that into the Velvet kinda Underground kinda growing your up. Your heart apart a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's a good. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. So, yeah. um, what are your biggest goals being in Nashville? And what where can you know now that you've been here for a little bit and sure. you're starting to meet more people? Where do you yeah. see yourself going? You've been playing a lot, by the way. He's been playing like, yeah. what, twice a week, three times a week, two, three times a week. Yeah, Which I think awesome. I, I think I've gone out like twelve nights in a row, something like that. <laughs> like, I'm stay hydrated. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Um, goals: uh, keep cranking out music. Um, I've got my debut full length that's on the way. Uh, the final song I'm going to be playing is the first single off of it, actually. Um, so, and that's all going to be coming out within the next handful of months. But awesome. uh, I like how you plan ahead like that. And, yeah. and I also see yeah. it's been inspiring having you here because you really, you, you approach writing in a very um, ritualistic way yeah. where you, you try to write every day. And it's mm-hmm. it's been great having you because you know sometimes it ebbs and flows. There's there'll yeah. be times where I don't touch the piano for a week. Yeah, and then yeah, totally. there'll be other times yeah. where I write and play every day. And it's like everything that you write doesn't necessarily have to come out. But then no. it's like there's that battle no. of like writing versus like you take your twelve best songs and oh, then yeah. you progress them yeah. forward. But you're one of those people who kind of plans ahead, you know, mm-hmm. a year or two ahead. And tell me a little yeah. bit about that process of like production and what it's been like working with other producers and sure. how, how your process works. Sure, yeah. So uh, for this record, I mean, the the album I'm coming out with took a very long time to make. Um, I made it with my good friend and co-producer, Kyle Pulley, uh, at Headroom Studios and in my parents' basement, basically. But um, we started, him and I started getting together and making demos and writing uh 
you know, some of the songs for that first EP in like 2019, the end of 2019, something like that. It takes time, so man. It's, 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 it's taken so long. And this, this whole album was basically me exploring how to like record basically. And I would you say know, you're a bit yeah. of a purist with the way yes. you record. You like to, yeah. even some things you do, I know we work together on stuff and you, yeah. you don't like to use a click sometimes. You no, like I'm to pretty, do it. Pretty insufferable sometimes. With <laughs> that. Yeah. Like I'm a, I'm well, a I mean, ass, Nashville's but, a good town yeah. for that because there's yeah. still this, there's still um, a big emphasis on, you know, old school style yes. of production yeah, and, dude, you know, sure. being able to sit down and play a song on the guitar and write, which is yeah. a little different. You know, you live yeah. in New York too versus the New York style, which is kind of more of a hip hop, hip hop production style, oh, which totally. is kind of, you're building the yep. production around the song. But I think in your case, the production is, is the song is being built around the production or it was the other way around actually. But yeah. yeah um, it was, it was interesting. Cause it, like, you know, I'm used to just like writing, in my room bringing it to a band like that's how like yeah all like rfa worked it was like i was just like i'd write a song i'd bring it to them we'd jam it out and that was the song but like here it's like i had my hand on every dial mm. so it's like i i didn't even really know how to like i would just make like little bits and like you know so it was really like learning how to have that discipline of like actually even recording everything that you hear yeah putting it together, refining it when it doesn't sound good, and then, you know, picking what the best stuff out of that is to put a final product together. And and then now that I'm here in the other room, um, I only have this. I don't even, I'm not even working on my laptop right now. So it's just like, okay, I'm, it, it's interesting how like your your process can constantly evolve. And so, uh, you yeah. know it's 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 nice about here you're constantly flexing the muscle, and that's one of the yeah. best parts about Nashville is that you can yeah. get out any night of the week here. You can get out and play in front of people. It might not always be crowded. You might not always yeah. get paid. It might be a rainy night. It might be dead, or it might be a, a bachelorette. Um, you know. <laughs> festival <laughs> yeah exactly so you never know what you're gonna get and I, but I, I appreciate how you've been getting out there putting the time in doing the yeah. reps and showing up you know yeah. you got to show up you got and you got to leave your house people yeah eventually oh, dude, you yeah, know for sure we all we all want to be the uh insufferable uh bedroom musician yeah but it's hard it's yeah. hard to get out there and get in front of people but that's when you get good feedback as well yeah i mean you know as you know with the stuff that we've been doing with like blue house band or even mm -hmm. just like all the writers rounds and stuff like i mean just the act of doing it makes you get have to get better you know like because i for two or three years i was pretty much just sitting in my parents basement between, and then you'd like, have New like York one big gig every couple months right kind I mean, of thing yeah and that yeah. was just like playing at a brewery or something like that like mm -hmm. that wasn't even like it's mostly like covers you know like yeah. like here it's like when you're like just actively doing it all the time. well that's what's funny about better. nashville too like yeah. the central core in downtown here where we are yeah. is is very much like every bar has cover bands but then the outskirts like east nashville west yeah. nashville south it's almost yeah. like if you play a cover at a lot of those places you'd be frowned it'd be frowned upon because there's such <laughs> yeah. an emphasis on original yeah. music, yep. which is, I think, yeah. why people come here. Yeah, you know? totally. I mean, yeah, it's just it's just a really cool town. And, like, what's what's nice is that people are really chill for the most part, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, <laughs> you yeah. know, maybe, like, five years from now, yeah. we'll look back on that and be like, oh, oh I know, maybe right? not so much. Yeah. But yeah. It, it's, not quite, it's not quite like <laughs> yeah. Philly where if you say the wrong thing, you know, you get a brick thrown through the window, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Especially if you wear a Cowboys jersey. <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, my cool. God. Well, let's jump into uh, your last song here and All right, awesome. tell us a little bit about it. Cool. So this is the first single from my debut album. My debut album is called Here's 12 Songs, and this song is called Dancing in the Kitchen. Let's go. I'm going to restart that one. That was a bit of flub. <laughs> it's Dude. the Eddie Echo Show. Come on.
making amends Cutting up the rug in town It's nice to begin again He's so young but sure is fun To spend some time around But it's hard to forget about The fact he's 23 But inside so is she Oh, 50's not too old, baby It's just time to be bold All right so don't ever act your age, yeah. So don't ever act your age, yeah. So don't ever act your age, yeah. Well, now, isn't that so strange? So right, dancing in the kitchen tonight so she can't forget about The kids in town are sure and calm The man I couldn't love her right But my friend they will do it right Nothing says divorcee Like white wine and risque Things that she tells her friends Who all hate their scum husbands All right so don't ever act to age, yeah. 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 So don't ever act strange yes it is <laughs> yeah, yes it is life is very strange and i hope everybody got to listen to the lyrics on that one we don't need to go into detail don't need to elaborate i love but... it that's such a cool theme um <laughs> yeah no i think i think you're doing a great job here i think you got bright future ahead of you and i know that you're loving it which is most it's the most important thing yeah if you don't love it then what's the point of you know doing it there's no point dude yeah i see a lot of people yeah. with, like the music becomes yeah. Like they become like enslaved to like this image that they're trying to create and like this whole thing, you know, it's like this whole front and you're not one of those people. Like you really, you're doing what's um, authentic to you. Oh, babe, is, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm super proud of you and tell, tell the yeah. people where they can find you and your catalog. I mean, you have a large catalog. You've been in a couple different bands. So. Yeah. Yeah. So um, if you like what you heard, check me out. My name's Dan Cousart, spelled C-O-U-S-A-R-T, and um, all my usernames and stuff like that are just at D-A-N-C-O-U-S-A-R-T. Uh, I'm on Spotify, got a bunch of new material coming out. I'm in Nashville. Um, if you know where he lives, <laughs> you'll find me too. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for having me on. Uh, always check out Mr. Eddie Echo. He's a very talented guy. It's awesome to be on here and doing this thing with you, brother. Yeah. Appreciate yeah, you doing it, man. Great. Yeah, Season two, you. I'm trying to uh, up the game and get as yeah. many as many people in here as possible that yeah. want to put themselves out there because that's, yeah. that's what it's all about, you know? For sure. Cool. This has been the Eddie Echo Show, and this has been Dan Cousart, and thanks for joining us. <laughs>